Hello all, we student of EC department of Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology. We have done a project named Brain Tumor Segmentation Using Unit Comparing with Mask RCNN. The main objective of our project is to build an actual detector using unit which will point out the location of the tumor on MRI images for greater accuracy comparing with mask RCNN. What is brain tumor? A brain tumor is an abnormal grouping of cells in the brain. Tumors are complex. There are lot of variations in sizes and location of tumors. This makes it really hard to complete understanding of tumors. Medical image data obtained from various biomedical tools which use different image techniques like X-ray, CT scans, MRI, etc helps doctors to find abnormalities in the internal structure. The automated systems would be able to detect the tumor in MRI and would be able to pinpoint the exact location of the tumor. So image segmentation is a division of an object into regions. So it creates the pixel-wise mask for each object in the image. There are two types of image segmentation, that is sem semantic segmentation and instant segmentation. Semantic segmentation is nothing but objects of same class are represented by the same color. And instant segmentation is nothing but different objects of the same class have assigned of in different instances. In mass carcinoma model uses instant segmentation and unit model uses semantic segmentation. Mass CNN model is a popular deep learning network in the computer vision field. It is used for instant segmentation. A fully convolution neural network is added to the faster RCNN model to generate mass for each object. So, uh, methods like faster RCNN, fast RCNN, and RCNN, RCNN are used for bonding box object detection, whereas mass CNN is for object detection and mass, con mass generation. It means mask RCNN detects object, draws boundary, bo boundary box, and applies mask on object. Proposed model. Proposed model is based on unit architecture. Unit architecture is a type of convolutional neural network used for classification, localization, and segmentation. Unit is designed for semantic segmentation. Its architecture can be broadly thought of as an encoder networks followed by a decoder network. This is the unit architecture. In this, the first half of the unit is the encoder part and the second half is the decoder part. Encoder part is also called as contracting path and the decoder part is called expansive path. In encoder part, An input image is taken and uh, two 3 by 3 convolutions are applied over it and each convolution is followed by a ReLU and batch normalization. Then a 2 by 2 max pooling operation is applied to reduce the spatial dimensions. Again, at each downsampling step, we double the number of feature channels while we cut in half the spatial dimensions. And the next is the decoder part. In this, every step in the expansive path consists of an upsampling of the feature map followed by a 2 by 2 transpose convolution, which halves the number of feature channels. We also have a concatenation with the corresponding feature map from the contracting path. At the final layer, a 1 by 1 convolution is used to map the channels to the desired number of classes. For a given MRI image with the original mask, the unit output and the mask has seen an output are as shown. The unit, uh, the unit model outputs are more accurate than the mask RCNN output. We can see that uh, for some images, the mask RCNN output predicted incorrectly. And for some uh, MRI images, it does not predict, uh, predict the tumor. The push versus accuracy and the push versus loss graph for unit model uh, are as shown. Uh, as the number of approaches increases, the accuracy increased and the loss decreased. We, uh, we can see that, that uh, at the end of 20, 30 approaches, the training accuracy is 99.7% and the validation accuracy, accuracy is approximately 99.5%. Next. 
if we see the approach versus loss graph of mass carcinin, the as we increase the number of approaches, the loss decreased. And uh, for the 15 approach, we can see that the training loss is nearly 0.5%. If we compare the performance of mass carcinin and unit models, uh, for mass carcinin model, we have to the 200 training images and 60 validation images. And for unit model, 2,451 training images and 613 validation images. Uh, for the mass carcinin model, we got an accuracy of 96.79%. And for the unit model, 99.51%. We can see that the very few training images, we got a good accuracy for mass carcinin. But uh, for, for only just 200 images, the mass carcinin took large amount of training time. Unit took only, but unit took less uh, training less training time than the mass carcinin model and given accurate results. By comparing the performance of the above model, we can conclude that unit model more accurate than the mass carcinin model. Thank you.